Okay. Tonight, look at this dog. This little German amigo. She's already down here and I haven't even started cooking yet. I come over here and rustle a fork and she's over here. All right, tonight, what we're going to cook here is, I got that lemon there, is, look at all this stuff, guys. This is ready for frying. Going to fry up some uh, shrimp, fresh shrimp, big ones. Big old Eastern Carolina shrimp. I'm going to fry them up in some uh, uh, peanut oil. I'm going to drizzle them with some lemon. Got got some rub going on there for them. Got a half and half egg. We're going to do a, a flour, a egg wash, and then coating breadcrumbs. We're going to cook in this big old spider here, which, you know, you got to be, hold on a second. You got to be true deep old South Southern. Know that cast iron fry pan is called a spider. Anyway, I keep losing. Look at that. Keep losing that. I need to take that thing off her. Interference on the network. All right. What we're gonna do? We have some some uh, fried shrimp. Look at here. I got to get over here. There we go. I got these beautiful baguettes, hoagie rolls that were freshly made today. Slice them up. We're gonna put on some baby greens. My special sauce that I made my last night. I got. I made the special sauce. I have to use it in. Like three days. I'm kind of funky about that. I look on a, on, a, on a container of milk, and if it says, well, this milk is good to the fifth. Well, I look at it, and it says the fourth on the calendar. I instantly say, this milk ain't tasting good now. So anyway, I have to use it. That, that special sauce probably lasts a week, but I use it in four days. I have to. I, I just, I'm just weird about, about the way things are. Anyway, all right, we're going to do some shrimp, poor boys. We're going to fry them up. And I'm going to put some jalapenos on mine with a special sauce. My wife don't like jalapenos. Oh, well. I do. And this dog don't like them either, but I've never tried. She probably would make her poop all night. Anyway, uh, I got more to say about peanut oil, too. Anyway, we'll talk about that in a little bit. All right, we'll be back. Okay, peanut oil. When you cook fish... Or anything that needs to be cooked hot and fast in in a, a oil, you need peanut oil. I, I was over to a friend's house. This was years ago, back back years ago, and he said, "Come on over. My daddy gonna be making a fish fry." Well, he, Dave's from up here, and I'm from down in Georgia. There, and he brought. He had a nice fryer. He did, and it, every, everything was great. He pulled out a gallon jug of salad or vegetable oil. now i could say west oh goodness i didn't mean chris oh i didn't mean chris anyway just vegetable oil and i asked i said and he had a bunch of fish that he had caught down on the river somewhere around hickory and i said they were still they were still just had been cleaned fresh out of the river fish and i said you gonna cook them fish in that, in that salad oil i thought me and him was gonna have to fight he goes, well, what kind of blah, 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 blah oil would you use? I said, peanut oil. That's what they use down in Georgia. He, what he said, oh, I can believe it. Well, you're in North Carolina now. I went, oh, I already lived here 15 years. I, well, 10 years anyway. I went, okay. So I just kept my mouth shut that night, and I ate his fish, and, and it, it, it was not good because I was watching him cook, and I was sitting back drinking beer, and I'm going, that oil, he's got it at 325, and it's already starting to smoke. The, the fish was, was uh, it was awful. It, it, the worst fish I ever eaten in my life. They, they were eating it up like it was great. They just never had good fish. So anyway, if you're going to cook fish, peanut oil, because it can take the heat. You can crank this stuff up to about 380. And you can cook on it, 375, 380, for several hours, and it will not smoke, and it'll make your hush puppies knock your socks off. All right, enough for that. All right, here we go. We're back to the shrimp pool boys. I've got a half a pound of shrimp, and there's eight of them in there. These are 14, 15 count shrimps, so these things are huge. I'm going to peel them, clean them, devein them, and butterfly them. And they won't have the tails on them, because I don't like a, like a pool boy with with shrimp with tails that's awful anyway used to cook we used to cook these down there in georgia we called them shrimp sandwiches <laughs> so, there's that my, my wife's getting text messages from my sister anyway uh we used to eat these down there in in georgia which i, I used to put mayonnaise cat fries of shrimp mayonnaise ketchup rooster sauce tabasco and put their shrimp on there and we called it just a shrimp sandwich but now 25 30 years later it's called a shrimp po boy and anyway, there's a, that tomatoes in there. Anyway, uh, we'll be back. 
dang, I just go on. There's that dog. She might get a tomato. Anyway, we'll be back. Okay, here we are. Now, I'm not going to go. Here's the shells and stuff that's left over. And they, they, these things have been deveined. They're looking good. I'm not going to go through the things of how to do that. If you like shrimp or love shrimp, you already know how to do this if you're above the age of 12. If you're 12 or under, ask your daddy. If your daddy don't know, then hop on a train and go to the local pier, car, get however you can get down there and ask the guys on the shrimp boat how to clean shrimp. It's easy. A lot of people don't like them, but I tell you what, I love them. I love, I love all the seafood. All right, we'll be back. Shrimp, poor boys. Or in South Georgia, we call them shrimp sandwiches. We'll be back. Ooh, there's them jalapenos I want. And there's some of that lemon juice for drizzling. All right, we'll be back. Okay, I have rub. I have put my special rub. Yeah, that, yep, that recipe's out there too. I just give away all my stuff. I don't care anymore. I'm old enough to wear it. Hey, look, folks, I, I, just use it. If you can, you can. If you can't, you can. It's fine with me. I'm having fun. And uh, I just put about two or three tablespoon, teaspoons, not quite a tablespoon or whatever, on, on this shrimp. And I'm going to let them sit in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes. Let them marinate in that, that rub there. And same rub I put on pork and everything else. So anyway... Rubs on YouTube. We'll be back. Okay, now I have beat one egg till I beat I beat it into submission. Now this is this is half and half. Now I'm only gonna pour about oh about that much. I don't know. That's probably a little over a quarter of a cup. One egg, a little over a quarter of a cup. Till till you can just you know. Just, yeah, it just starts turning kind of pale yellow. Now this is the dipping sauce. You can I'm gonna put in look at that southern biscuit flour. And in here, in here goes breadcrumbs. So dip the shrimp in the flour, in the egg, back into breadcrumbs, and then you fry it. Okay? It, it's pretty easy. This is some great shrimp, folks. I'm telling you, if you don't want the rub then do like we did in georgia before we had the rubs we just well the rubs all around we just didn't know about it uh just put salt and pepper on them that's all i don't put nothing however you want to do it she does not care all right we'll be back <laughs> oh yeah okay now there's one thing you got to remember if you're if you're cooking on a burner this this thing get away with you. I I've been doing it for a long long time. I've never started the kitchen fire, but once you once you crank this up, whether you're on gas or electric, you you have to watch it because you'll burn your house down if you ain't careful. Because you have to watch the heat. Some people just go away and forget about it, and whammo, their house is in ashes because this 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 oil any oil it, it will burn. So remember that. that's just a safety message. So anyway, I got it on medium low, and if you're not used to oil, then get you a high temperature thermometer. I got one down there. I'll show you in a minute. Now here it is. Here's a, here's this Creole shrimp. This is with my rub. Here is unseasoned southern flour. Y'all saw it in the previous thing. Here's egg half and half mixture, and those black specks is ground up pepper. And this here is you're gonna have to have. To do this, a half a pound of shrimp, you have to have two cups of flour and four cups or three cups or so of breadcrumbs because once you put them shrimp in there, you're gonna you're gonna dredge them, put them put them aside, then you're gonna wash them, then you're gonna put them in the breadcrumbs, then you're gonna fry them, and and it these shrimp are gonna cook in about four minutes or less. See, see how that's starting to shimmer? Look at that. Woohoo! And only a spider will do that. No, other things do it. I like calling it spider. That's what my grandmother called it. Get that spider for me, baby. Yeah, I thought she's talking about an eight-legged thing, but she's talking about that frying pan. Anyway, Google it. You'll see what I'm talking about. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna fry some shrimp here in a second. First, I'll dredge them and, and let you see what I'm talking about. All right, we'll be back. Okay, if you're not sure about how to look at, look at that, that thermometer says Bayou Classic. I've had that thing 20 years, I guess. 
Anyway, put you a high temp thermometer in there. And if you look, that red line goes up at about, oh hell, I can't see it, 350, 375, whatever. And that's where you want to keep it, 375, or a little bit lower. And uh, peanut oil can handle it. All right, here we go. Those shrimp were in in uh, this bowl here with that Creole seasoning. My, that's what I call my rub. Now, here they are floured, okay? Now, in a few minutes, I'm going to do them in the egg wash, and I'm going to put them in the breadcrumbs, and I'm going to cook them in there, and it ain't going to take long. It's like four-minute cook and pull their little shrimp honeys out of there. All right, we'll be back. All right, I got a denim. That red line's at four four fifty, I believe. Well, that's way too hot, but you'll notice it when it gets from around three fifty, ah, uh, three seventy five. You'll see it. It starts, it starts shimmering. I just don't want you burn your houses down. Okay, right, we'll be back. Like that Allstate commercial. Four hundred seventy five thousand people cooked turkeys last year. Eight hundred of you successfully burned your house down. Well, we don't want that because we're cooking inside. All right, we'll be back. Okay, here we go. I've got three shrimp here that have not been dumped in there and breaded. I've got five or six here now. We're going to put them in there. It's This is about, I don't know, 350, 375, and you'll notice it ain't smoking a bit. Let's turn it back up since so we put some fish in there. And look at that. I'm telling you what, folks. And what you do is you I only got one hand here, and you, you, you just bread it around. I'm telling you, it don't take long for these shrimp to cook. I'm, I'm, I'll flip them here as soon as I do these. Put them in there like that. Goodness gracious, this is gonna be good. You gotta open up that crevice. Oh boy, I tell you what, that that looks familiar. Oh, <laughs> anyway, oh yeah, there you go. You gotta play with it with your fingers. Get everything in there. Make, make, make gotta make the girls happy. You know what I'm saying? All right, look at there. This stuff's going to be up right. All right, I'm going to flip them. I'll be back. Okay. Now, here's the first. One, two, three, four, five. And here's the last three. Look at that. They are, I'm telling you, folks, these are these are golden brown. These they, They've only cooked just a few minutes. So this, this peanut oil, it, it fries up to perfection. All right. Look at that. We're going to pull them out now. This is about four minutes on these. The worst thing you can do is get your honey off there. Worst thing you can do is, it, look at that, there's still a little bit of juice coming out of that one. That's what you want. Some juice out of that one. You don't want to cook them. You know, you want to cook them medium. Don't, don't fry their asses off. Anyway, look at that. We can turn this off. That peanut oil secure. House ain't burned down. We're doing good. All right, we'll be back. Now comes the good part. Okay, here's the baby greens I bought to go on top of this poor boy. All right, got this here tomato. I mean, I had to search over everywhere to find this beautiful tomato. And I'm gonna cut it thin, and I guarantee that dog gonna want a piece of it. Anyway, these are the baby greens. Go ahead, turn that on, it don't matter. My wife's over here getting some water, and it's okay, too. Oh, got some jalapenos. Oh, one thing I want to say, I wash everything. I'm just a freak about washing, washing, washing. All right, and uh, I'm going to slice this tomato. I bet that dog, she can't see much good anymore, but I'm going to give her a piece of it. Guys, I want you to look. I'm slicing these tomatoes paper thin, and that's that's not a special knife. It's a Wustoff or a Hinkles. It is pretty. And now watch this. And it's due to this this sharpener right here. And there, go out and look for the chantry. You'll find it. All right, anyway. All right. Uh, oh, I'm going to give that dog. <laughs> My little German amigo gets a piece of tomato. And, a, and the front door just rang. All right, we'll be back. Look at that. Paper thin. All right, like I was saying, I, I Shelby, come here, come here, my little. Look at that. I got some tomatoes. Look at that. Well, she she can't see too good, but she comes running. Come on. <laughs> Look at there. She loves those tomatoes. Anyway, I got these are baby greens, 
esculent and spinach and red red lettuce and everything. I'm gonna wash it up because I I just don't trust everything. I watch too much of these food stuff going on. Anyway, we're gonna wash this up. <clears throat> Got these shrimps here in this oven. Now the oven's just warm. They'll keep for a while because they won't get tough. Not like calamari. Paper thin tomatoes, jalapeno peppers, and lemons. And I'm gonna bring out some of that Ladamio, that good olive oil. All right. We'll be back. Okay, I got a I got a steam engine in tonight. I'm a big steam engine collector. I'm not even going to show it. I'm not even going to show it. I got a Velesco D22, I, I, and I got it for a, I got it for a steal. Anyway, we're going to talk about these um, poor boys right here. I got the tomato sliced up. Here's that special sauce: jalapenos, lemons. Now I want you to look at these shrimp. Look at them. I, I I cut them in half. They they are absolutely gorgeous. I mean, if I owned a restaurant, that that's how I'd serve them. I wouldn't I wouldn't put a whole shrimp on there. I'd give them I'd give them the same amount of shrimp, but I give them cut in half because you can eat it better. And look at here. Here's the bread that's cut up. It's gonna go into that salad, Mander. All right. And we'll be back. Look at that. That dog's done eat half this tomato and I got a bunch of baby lettuce greens in there in the refrigerator all right we're gonna be back okay this is the this is the good olive oil this is the best olive oil so anyway I took this olive oil and I've coated these these pieces of bread now I'm gonna stick them in the look at this thing in the salad blender Oh, look at that. That's a noise thing. And toast it. All right. We'll be. Okay. Now everything's cooking. And uh, the bread is a toasting in the. Uh, I call it a salamander. It's a darned old. It's just a toaster oven. <clears throat> and it's been really good so far. It's called a bread reel. Yeah. It's the third, third one I've ever owned in my life. And this has been a pretty good one. All right. We'll be back. Okay, here, here, here's the breads. I put them in the. They're 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 toasted and they're they're doing good. I got the. I got that. I got this heating back up just just to put a little bit of warmth back on the bread. And then we've got the special sauce. And we got that Lodomio, the great olive oil, and we got these shrimps. Anyway, and we got this. All right, we're gonna put these sandwiches together, and well, my wife she don't she don't like them jalapenos. They make her well whatever. Okay, we're gonna be back. Okay, now we got the uh, special sauce on here. Now we're gonna put it on some of those shrimps. Oh, there we are. I'm gonna pile them on there. I'm telling you. Now we will Put them on here. These special fried shrimps. There we go. Then, then, then we're gonna sprinkle them with just a little bit of olive oil. Then we're gonna put on the everything else. All right, we're gonna show what it looks like. We'll be back. Okay, here it is. They're, 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 I like putting the shrimp underneath all the things because it just keep kind of keeps it crispy. Some people, they put it on top so you can see it. Well, I don't like that. But anyway, you can make it the way you want. It don't matter. My wife got it the same way. She's going to cut hers in half. Well, anyway, this is it. Oh, my goodness, that poor dog. I know she wants a little bit of piece of tomato. Oh, there she goes. All right, this is it. This is it. Shrimp, poor boys. We're done with it. See, we got some shrimp left. All right, we'll be back, but not tonight. Okay, everybody knows how I am. I like to take some videos about halfway through, and I'm telling you, this 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 is is the best poor boy. My wife's even she brought even out the special sauce. Look at her; she's eating her second piece. All right, this is it, and we'll be back. As I say, not tonight, but who knows? All right, good night. 
Okay, I, I, I was thinking that I might get some of my special sauce left over tomorrow for salad, but there's no way. Some old boys I work with today, they were going, was that special sauce that good? Oh, yeah, look at that. There ain't much left. All right. We're going to, this is all we got. We, we There's a little piece of shrimp in there, but there ain't nothing else left. Shrimp, poor boys. All right. This is it for sure. Good night.